Well, hello. I want to talk to you today about an electronic solution for keeping track of tasks. Now, this is a, a nice little program that's called Microsoft To Do that's available as part of the Microsoft Office Suite. And uh, it's available to all students in North Dakota. So this is pretty awesome because uh, what it does is it just, it's a task management software. It's like a hyped up to-do list. Now you may like paper to-do lists. If you use them well, then keep using your own system. I want to provide an electronic option. I don't use this one. I pay money to use a program called Todoist, uh, but this one's available to you for free. So something to check out. So what I'd like to do is dive into Microsoft To-Do. So when you get into Microsoft To-Do, it looks a lot like this. And it's a blank slate. Now, I'm going to set this up with the idea that you're a student. And how would you as a student want to set this up? So you've got a couple areas you're working on. One of them is school. Uh, you may, excuse me, you may have a job. You, you have your home tasks. Uh, maybe you have activities that you're in. So let's just create a couple of groups. So I'm going to create a group called School. I am going to create a group called uh, um, Home. And I'm going to create a group called Activities. Now, how am I doing that? Well, all I'm doing with the, this is I'm just doing a right click and then I have the option of create group. Now I'm going to create a new list. So let's make a list for each of my classes. So let's say I'm taking physics. I'm taking uh, English. New list down here at the bottom of the screen. Apparently I can't spell in English. Uh, I'm taking algebra. And let's say I have PE. Ah, PE teacher never gives us homework. We do everything in class. But just for fun, I'm going to create the class by accident. Oh, need to erase that. How can I do that? Well, if I right click on the class, I have the option to delete that list. And a warning. So now I'm going to just select all my lists and just drag them into my school group. Same thing with my activities. I didn't put any made up activities in home, but you know, this is all simulation anyway, so we'll just leave it at this. And just for you, everything's erased off of here anyway. All right, so now I need to start adding some things. So let's go to physics. Let's see, physics on Wednesday, uh, I have due lab 12.6. Wait a second. Do I put it on my task list? for Wednesday? No! I want to work on it today. Jumping in with an editorial comment here. Do not assign yourself those tasks when they're due. Assign yourself the tasks when you're going to work on them. So let me just type in lab work on lab 7.6. Well that's nice, but wouldn't it be great if I have my when I'm going to work on it? So let me just click on it. I'm going to see I could add it to my day. I could add a due date. Let's work on it. Well, let's work on it today. All right, now it's on today. Uh, maybe I need to add a file to it, uh, like the actual lab. So what do we get? Oh, let's go with Chinese for squirrel. Who knows what that is? All righty. Why are you still here? Must have clicked it twice. So now I've got a file included in it. Maybe I want a note. Don't forget to call Martha for help. I want a reminder because I'm going to actually work on this later today. Maybe I want to pick a date and time. Uh, this says... At 6, I'm just looking at the time right now. Okay. I was going to set it to make a reminder, but uh, it just did it, so we'll just leave it. But yeah, you can time when it sets up the reminder. So that's a nice feature. We can, uh, if I want to set something for tomorrow, edit, or no, work on homework. 
7.5. Uh, that's due on Wednesday, so ah, I'm not going to work on it till the night before. So let's work on it. If it's due Wednesday, we'll just work on it on Tuesday night. And again, I can add a reminder if I want. I don't feel like adding a reminder. Now, in English, uh, that mean English teacher has a recurring project because every Friday we have to do a journal. So, write journal entry. And we'll uh, edit that. Now, that's due... Well, if it's due Friday, I'm going to work on it last minute Thursday night. That's what I've decided. I can make it repeating because this is going to be repeating weekly. Or maybe I want to do a custom one. We'll go with weekly on Thursday. And now it will appear every week as an entry. Uh, then I don't, then I'll always every Thursday get the reminder. And I could have the remind me pop up, um, you know, pick a date and time and all that, but I don't feel like doing that right now. You see the little star here? That's how I remind myself it's important. So that way, you know, if you have something important, you can say, okay, what are my important tasks right now? So this journal entry is important. Uh, when I look under planned, there they all are. Uh, so I have to write the um, Shakespeare. Did I give myself a task for today? I feel like I did. Oh, now I know why it's not appearing. Okay, I accidentally marked it as done. <laughs> so uh, maybe you have your task uh, done. This is one of the things I love doing. Oh, it's done. So uh, then you can just keep track of tasks that you have to do. Uh, now I'll add a couple of little things to this. One of them is you can change the theme. You know, maybe you like green. Maybe you like poppies. You know, if you're into having some kind of a theme, you can do that. Uh, tasks can be assigned to you, although that feature is very limited also. You can put this on your cell phone, whether it's an Android or an iPhone. Uh, you can run on your Apple computer, which is what I'm doing. Uh, you can run on your Windows computer, or you can run it on your browser. Uh, and, and it appears on Office. Now, it may appear on Office on your list of apps that you see when you first go into Office. But if it doesn't show up there, you can click All Apps, and it shows up there to do. So when you open up To Do, it doesn't have the fancy theme on it on the online version, but that's okay. But it basically works the same. And I had the option to show all tasks clicked, so that's why my completed tasks are still visible. But I can change that to make them appear. And down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see Get the App and the various operating systems you can get it for. And if you run a weird operating system, run it through the browser. So anyway, I hope that was helpful, hope it was useful, and that's how to use the basics of Microsoft to do.